Hello, good day, and welcome back to the stream, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a few days, I know, but it's been rather busy lately. So, hopefully now we'll be able to get right back into the swing of things with some more Halloween spooktacular spooky things, and, of course, Resident Evil. Which, you know, I kind of figured... I, I'm pretty sure I may have played that song by one jumping Gene Simmons, not the Gene Simmons you're probably thinking of, and it's simply called Haunted House. The song came out in 1964, I believe. Considering this is a game dealing with a giant spooky mansion, I suppose I kind of figured it'd be fitting to go along with this now, wouldn't it? However, with that out of the way, let's jump right back into some more Resident Evil. and see if I cannot become a Jill Sandwich. Although I'm somewhat past that part now, I believe. Ah, hello Rolls, welcome back to the stream. Nice to see you again. Zombie! Now, I can't quite remember what I was doing last time. I think I was getting ready to go fight Giant Snake. But we'll see now when we get back into it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I was going to do. I think I've got the key I need to get into that room. Fight your fears and survive. I'm also kind of worse for wear, aren't I? Oh yeah. Uh, shield key, ink ribbons. I don't think I really need a whole lot. Okay, that's cool though. I hope you enjoy your flight though, rules. I know I'm not exactly- well, I was about to say I'm not exactly a fan of flying, but to be honest, I, I don't know, it doesn't really bother me as much as you would think. The only thing that really bugs me about flying is the fact that I am a fairly tall fellow, and, um, leg room is not always a guarantee, depending on who you're flying with. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to take the grenade launcher with me. I'll hang on to, uh... Yeah, I think I'll just hang on to the weaponry I have right now. See, because one thing I remember is there's something of a trick to this fight with the giant snake, or at least the first part of it, because I'm pretty sure you run into him again later on. So, I have to go upstairs, and I need to go over there. However, I'm going to want to bring myself back into tip-top condition before I go after that thing. But yeah, no, I, f I feel for you on that one, Rolls. The middle seat usually kind of sucks. Um, yeah. I usually prefer to get a window seat. It makes it a bit harder to actually get up and go to the bathroom, of course, while during mid-flight. But I don't know. It, uh, despite how often I've flown, I, it, the, the view outside the window has never really gotten old for me. There was this one time, actually, years ago, I was on a plane thinking about, you know, having a seat by the aisle, um, that uh, I was on... I, I can't remember, because this was a school trip over Europe somewhere, I think. This was a long time ago. We're talking like 15, 16 years ago now. And, um... What happened? Yeah, yeah, I think it was a like a British Airways flight or something like that. And... Due to, like, the time difference and all that stuff, the jet lag and what have you, I was dead tired. This was near the end of the trip. So what ended up happening is before the flight even took off, because the first thing I did, I sat down and I put my seatbelt on and all that jazz. First thing that happened was I fell asleep, and because I was in the aisle seat, I kind of leaned out into the aisle. I only woke up when a stewardess came by and was like, you know... I, I, I had to pity her, because what was she going to do there? She was trying to get me to wake up, but she was like, she couldn't really push me out of the way, because, you know, that'd be kind of rude. She's like, excuse me, can you, can you move, please? I was like, oh, yeah, I'm just sort of hanging halfway out of the seat, you know, that's 
fine. Numb. Yeah, it's odd, because there's something reassuring about looking out the window while you're flying, despite the fact you can very clearly see how high you are off the ground. Although I've never really had much fear when it comes to flying, you know? Maybe it's largely because it's entirely out of my hands. If something's gonna happen, there's nothing I can do about it, really. Not that I've ever had a plane that's had any trouble, knock on wood. Although I've been on a couple that had some real nasty turbulence that kind of freaked me out a little, but aside from that... Oh, you're saying somebody lit up a cigarette in the middle of the flight? I'm pretty sure there's no airline that allows you to smoke on board anymore. <laughs> So I can only imagine what kind of fun they probably had trying to explain that to that person. Richard is resting peacefully. You should probably just leave him be for now. Uh, yeah, okay. You rest well, Richard. I can't imagine things are going to go well for you pretty soon. Now you see, I know there's a giant snake up here, but all the webs would make you think giant spider, which there is one of those in this game. Use the shield key. There's no further use for this key. Discard? Sure. I know I've commented on this before, but again, I just find it really funny that it's nice that the game does that. It's like, oh, you don't need this anymore, so it's just a well to get rid of it, clear up your inventory space. But how do they know they don't need the key anymore? Oh, okay. See you later, Rolls. Have yourself a nice flight. I'm gonna be here for, I don't know, a few hours anyway, doing this in a little game called Rogue Reaper later. But yeah, no, like I was saying, it seems a bit strange. It's like, yeah, it's nice that the game lets you get rid of stuff when you don't need them anymore, but how does the character know you're not going to need that key anymore? Seems odd, yeah? Yeah. Creepy attic. Everything's fine in the creepy attic. That looks like a really raggedy ass feather duster up there. Oh, hello, snake! Snake! <laughs> Payback time! Okay, I think the gist of what I- like, the only thing I really need here is this. Another one of these masks. Oh, which of course reminds me. Let's see if I can do this again. You know, I, I said I had to do this for every one of these, so... Spooky mask. Spooky mask. Okay. I'm just picturing both the snake and Richard looking at me quizzically because Jill is just pushing the mask away from her and pulling it towards her face while just humming spooky mask to herself. Spooky mask! That's when the snake decides that it wants nothing to do with me. It's a death mask without a nose. Okay, because I legitimately think I don't need to do anything here. Like, I can just get Richard to kill the snake for me. I just need to lure it in front of him. And try not to get bit. Also try not to get between it and his tail, because if I do... 
Shoot! Shoot, man! Shoot! I also like how it's kind of gotten sick of Richard. Thanks. Jill! No! Richard! For you see, I just saved Richard for later. I need the gun. Will you take the assault shotgun? Oh hell yes I will. And now I run. See, because that's the thing, the mask is the only thing you need in there. And if you save Richard, you get a fancy new shotgun out of it. Fires 12 gauge shells, a star's custom arsenal, and also Richard's favorite. So anyway, it's just as well for me to use the shotgun now when I come across my next few enemies just to use up the ammunition so I can put it away. Because there's no need for me to have both of these out. You weren't here before, what are you doing here? Come on now, you jerk. And how many of those masks do I have now? And where else do I need to go? Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing else up in the attic. The only thing that are in here are some herbs, which I might actually pick up and put them in the item box. So let's see, where's going to be the best spot for me to go? Well, I can swing on by that guy, and, um... See, because I don't have a key anymore. And I'm still missing a mask. I mean, I could... Yeah, let's actually head up that way and go outside. Because there might be... Maybe that's where I need to put the crest that I have? I don't know. Let's Let's investigate further. There's a dog out there, I can use a shotgun and take that thing out. Secure the area. Good plan. Good plan. Let's do that. Try not to run a follow the zombie. Ah, I don't have a... Also, was that a zombie plowing through a door? Is that what that noise was? Now, I'm doing pretty good in terms of healing items, so I might just, uh, use one. Yeah, the wind crest. I might be able to use that for something. <clears throat> How am I doing for... Not doing too bad in terms of healing items. Um, yeah, let's put these away. Let's take out this mix, and I'll probably use this mix. Boom! Delicious healing! Tasty green! Nah, I don't have any kerosene though, do I? Yeah, the only spot I can think of that's got any is out yonder, where the dogs are. And I know there's a couple of zombies in that hallway too now, from where they burst through the 
windows, I think. Unless they travel out into this hallway over here, which is what I think they did. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, perhaps I should take my canteen out that way and try to fill it, but nah, whatever. Let, let, let's head out and see if I need the wind crest for the back door yet. Let's, ex let's uh, examine that thing. There's nothing unusual, except for the fact that it's an odd disc. Disc. Oh yeah, I forgot. Going out through this door might cause the... Oh, and the puzzle in that room. I forgot about that. I need to go out this way anyway. I hope this doesn't break the doorknob. Hello, zombie friend. Goodbye, zombie friend. Alright, let's check this thing out before I go any further. The title is written as follows, Bring the Light of Truth Upon the Three Spirits. Valiant. Yeah, because I, I presume it needs to be like a... Because uh, they, they describe it as being a pure white light when the light mixes, so I don't know if that means then I can... Press the button and a thing happens. Yeah, so they're all the same, which I presume is what we need to do, so what about this? Lisa, protected by the three spirits. Picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. Uh, sure? I mean, this isn't gonna go wrong, right? This is gonna be fine, right? Right? Yeah? No. No, it's not. No, it's not. Bird's angry. Fuck you. Fuck you. There we go. That's better. Hmm. Okay, at the very least, they were both solid headshots, because I thought what happened is that, like, because in most Resident Evil games of this type, if you do that and the zombie is close enough, it's an automatic decapitation. But, um, it doesn't quite work that way in this game. Anyway, let's check this out. Ah! Damn it! Not fast enough! Oh, fuck. Okay, it's dead. There's something written in the indentation. The defiler of the accursed coffin. Meaning it's not that. Meaning I need to get it out of the coffin, so I need all the death masks. Although I think I figured out what I need to do with the stained glass puzzle. It's stupid, really. I'm surprised I didn't figure it out before. Are you feathered fiends calm again now? Shall you cause me more grief? Yeah, because I need to make it the same colors, so the... 
So the Valiant needs to be orange because he's the one holding the bracelet. Picture of a Valiant wearing a bracelet. It's set in yellow stained glass. Press the switch. Um, he's turned green. Okay, so now he's turned white. Orange! Perfect! Okay, so the, 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 the... Old man. Old man! It needs to be purple? Yeah. No. Purple. Oh, well, that was easy. Um, how about... Okay, so green. The last dude needs to be green. Green, huge son of a bitch. Nope, that's orange. So it's probably the other switch. Aha! The picture of the saint has turned green. Now then! Now, we'll see who's laughing. -na 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 -na. Will you take the death mask? Yes, I will. Oh, hey, this is... Oh shit, son, I got an easy shot straight down to, uh, the coffin. Oh, uh, the problem is that door is probably not going to last much longer, so I could run out that way, and so I might be better off going through the cemetery and run around to the other item box is probably my best bet. So yeah, let's do that. He's got a couple of zombies to contend with. Gather up all these death masks, drop off that shotgun, we should be fine. Are they not here? Oh hell yes, I'll take the shotgun shells. I just gotta be careful not to put them in my old shotgun. Eh, I didn't kill those two guys, I don't know why they're gone. I'm not complaining, mind you, but I don't know why they're gone. So yeah, we stick to the bottom floor, we should be good. Now there's still some locked doors up this way too, there's a helmet key. Maybe the helmet key is in the coffin and then through that I get the whatever it is I need. And I still need to find one more gem for the tiger statue too. Because there's nothing at all about this mansion that is sensible or easy. Oh, is my zombie friend still in here? Might have to gun him down if he is. Yep. Although not really, because, well... Dude's a bit slow. Stiffened and rotting ligaments would do that, yes. As one would presume.
I think there, yeah, there's still a zombie upstairs, and I think there might be a crimson head up there, too. Problem is, there's a door I need to get in. Alright, well, this shotgun can go in here, because I won't be needing that anytime soon. away the wind crest because I'm probably not going to need that but I will take out the masks and uh... I'll risk not needing those shotgun shells too because I mean I've got 10 in there and I've got a fair bit of handgun ammunition if that's not going to be enough to deal with whatever I come across then <laughs> I'm probably gonna be screwed anyway um And I'd like to have at least one healing item on me at all times. Unless I absolutely know for certain it's not going to be a problem. Run away, Miss Valentine! What's still in that room, though, I wonder? Is there something I miss? Something in there that I missed that might be important. Because I can't even remember what that room is. Oh, it's the tiger room. Never mind. Yeah, I still need to find the last gem. Okay, let's see if I can run past this dong without getting grabbed. I think I screwed up my chance. So let's reset the enemy, shall we? Because I'd rather get by him without A getting injured, and B, wasting any ammunition. Like so! Nobody ever said he was the sharpest tool in the shed. Okay, so, so far I've come across three members of Bravo Team Two of them were already dead. One of them was okay until he died. Rebecca is usually pelling around with Chris for most of his run through through the game, but I don't think you run across her at all if you're playing as Jill. And as we saw, there is a member of Bravo team who dies on the train at the beginning of Resident Evil Zero, which I think might have been Edward. I think that might have been his name. <laughs> Watch now, the two zombies that were in the graveyard decided, you know what, let's just hide down the crypt. We'll spook her. Although I better equip the shotgun because God knows it's gonna pop out of that. The following inscription is carved into the indentation. An eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. Because I feel like I might know what's up there, but I thought she was elsewhere in the mansion, so I don't know, let's, let's find out, shall we? Boom. This is gonna be fun. By which I mean, no, it's gonna be horrible. And I love how Jill just keeps going along with this, despite the fact this looks like it's going to end in 
end in tears and screams. Here we go! Are you shocked, Jill? I thought this is what you wanted. Oh, it's a crimson head. Not just any crimson head, I think I know who this is. Well, he's dead now. Well, that could have been worse. I believe that might have been the architect of the mansion. There's a switch. Press it? Sure. There's something here. Will you take the stone and metal object? Sure. There's nothing else here. But how does a switch that's inside the coffin that was suspended in the air activate the gate? That's what I want to know. An emblem is carved on the octagonal object. There's nothing unusual. Well, I know exactly where I need to go with this son of a bitch. Still no helmet key though, but I guess I need to get that out back. Was it something Trevor, I think the guy's name was, who built the mansion? You know, the guy whose family was taken away from him and then he was locked up and gonna be murdered and all that jazz. Also, if I wanted to go over and plant that emblem in, I went the wrong way. Over yonder we go! Open up the rusty old gate. Try not to scratch yourself and get tetanus. Gonna have a bad time. Now there better not be like respawning zombie dogs out here or I'm just gonna be super pissed! I hear them. Blink! Success! Where the hell does this leave me? And if that was stowed away in a coffin with a hostile undead creature, it looks like it had been there for years. How did anybody access this place? You know, during the everyday operations of this place, because this place only really went to shit maybe a couple of weeks ago, if that. So how... I don't know. Yes, I will take the shotgun shells, thank you. Boop. I will also take that first aid spray, thank you. If the game allows me to. Oh, okay. It's down here. Wait, that's a door. <laughs> I didn't mean to go through that door. That's a big old whoopsie doodle on my part. Here we go. Take you, and I will assort of pots in a toolbox. And I will take you. Oh, 
Bullchard! A selection of gardening supplies. There doesn't seem to be anything of use. You know, unless you plan on camping out here and turning this into, like, a more modern survival horror game. You know, like your dark woods or your forests or that kind of thing. So camping out in this hellhole seems like a terrible idea. This is Brad. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad. Can you hear me? Shit. It's broken. God damn it, Brad. I hope you get torn apart by a monstrosity in the future and then become an undead creature that needs to die for fashion. Yes. Those are dogs. I didn't mean to do that, but... Whatever, it works. I get the distinct feeling it's gonna be for the best that they die. Oh, there were three of them. Better pick, the, pick these up and mix them together too. Might be good to have a... multi-heal kind of dealio. Or maybe I want to mix it with this so I can... Uber healing. A mixture of green, blue, and red herbs. You're gonna be flying high, you take this shit. Flying high. Oh, cool. We can go for a swim. Fuck yeah! There's a square-shaped hole here. I need to find a square crank. Well, clearly I can't go any further until I find my square-shaped crank. I was wondering when the oddly specific crank was going to show up. Looks like a fountain, but there's no water coming out. As you know, there's an oddly specific crank in pretty much every Resident Evil game. doesn't appear there's an like there's anything here, but it's just as well for me to investigate all the same. It seems to be some kind of signpost. Each direction is accompanied by a corresponding destination. North, Valley of Destruction. South, Cave of Hatred. East, Summit of Madness. West, Path of Revenge. Cheery. There's a switch here. Press it? Not yet, thank you. Somebody respond! Over! Barry? Monster! James! Gun? Ineffective! It's it! Stay away! Forest outside mansion! Hey. 
Cool. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, I'm already here, but that's fine. A statue with red eyes. The inscription reads, The war cry of revenge. A statue with blue eyes. The inscription reads, The last gasps of destruction. Okay, so blue... I, I know I'm not that far away, but I think I'm going to write this down just in case. So I don't... So I know for certain I don't screw it up. So blue is destruction. And red is revenge. Yeah. Cool. There's a switch here. Push it? Sure. Although maybe I push it to stop it. Although I can't remember which one destruction is, so I gotta go back to the signpost. Okay, so north is destruction. So blue has to be north. And red is revenge, which is west. So this one's got to be west, if I remember. I if I'm looking at this right, I should say. There's a switch. Push it. Once it slows down, yes. Are you going to slow down for me? No, thank you. And this one's got to go north. Don't look at me! Nobody told you statues you could look at me! Oh, hello, pros. Well, thank you to leave me alone. There's something written in this indentation. When the wind sweeps across the earth, stars will shine in the heavens. So this is what I need the wind crest for. There's something carved into the indentation. Two vertical lines across and three horizontal lines. So pause, plus, and something. Could be some kind. Of, could it be some kind of symbol, like every other symbol I've come across in this hell-forsaken place? If I come across an item box, I'll see if I can find the wind symbol and toss it in there. The emblem. Nope. No, no, please. Lisa, no. I know it's you. Alert statue stands silently in the darkness. How ominous. I suppose the thing I should consider myself fortunate is that there's no, like, say, zombies or dogs that are running around willy-nilly out here, because, you know, technically we're outside. Technically. Pretty fenced off, but, you know. Is 
Is this a wide open space for me to avoid running at a thing? Oh, there's a cabin. Well, there's no items out here. Well, let's look inside the cabin, I guess. I foresee dark and terrible things. Oh, except this is actually a safe house. Eh, go figure. Well, I can pick up that emblem now. This firewood looks fresh. Fresh, new, exciting. A number of bandages have been hung up. Could these brown stains be blood? This can't be blood. There's a map of the courtyard. Take it? Sure. There's not really too much of the courtyard left, but sure. You got the map of the courtyard. Good for you. A crude bed. It looks like no one's used it in a long time. A family picture. And some notes. My dearest Lisa. There's a journal left by someone. 19. Daddy attach first. Mom attach scone, sconed. Inside red and slimy. White and hard. Not true mom. Where? Dunno dad. Found mom again. No, Tash, mommy. She move no more. She's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. Four. Mom. Where? I miss you. From here, you've got a good view of the entrance of the cabin. To scare the bejesus out of me when the inevitable happens. Okay, so I'll put this away, because I know I'm not going to need it. Not yet, anyway. I think I'll keep that first aid spray, I'll put away, well, I'll take out the wind crest, because if I can go back, I can plop that in. So tell me there's an item here somewhere, though. Perhaps downstairs? Well, not stairs. Obviously, but... Oh, is that the crank? Will you take the crank? Sure. There's nothing unusual. It's just a square crank. Shit, son. Uh, Am I safe? <laughs> I'm not safe. Um... Oh shit! Leave me alone! 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 No, no, no! No, please! Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I'll use the first aid spray now, thank you. And I hope the Christ she's not going to start following me, but she probably will. Because that right there is the darling daughter of the man who built the mansion. They did shit to her. They did bad shit to her. I'm going the wrong way. I'm going back towards the cabin. I don't want to do that. That was a camera angle. Alright, we're good. No, thank you. There's a lady over there you can talk to, though. Go talk to her. We'll see how well that turns out for you. The two of you will get along swimmingly. She'll add your face to her collection. Because in case you didn't notice, in the brief period we actually got to look at her, she's covered in scalped faces, basically. Or severed faces, I suppose I should say. Plop you in here. This is cool, but what the hell am I supposed to do with these? Crests are fitted. Will you take the moon crest? Yes. Will you take the star crest? Yes. Will you get attacked by birds? Yes. Okay, moon... Moon goes in... Ah, uh, star goes in plus. No, not yet. I can't use this item as is? What do you mean? Oh, okay. Well, I may as well pick them all up then, because it straight up shows me what I need to do with them. Cool. Let's just ignore the birds, they're not going to be worth my time. They don't do that much damage, just as long as I don't get swarmed. I have no idea what this is going to do, but I guess we'll see now. <laughs> Hello? A gun has been placed neatly inside. Well, I'll be fucking taking that. Will you take the Magnum Revolver? You bet your sweet ass I will. I'm gonna hang on to that, like, grim death, but... Get off. Silver Serpent. It's loaded with Magnum Rounds. The item screen is going to shoot you. Pew 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 pew. Now, if I'm real lucky, I won't get waylaid by Madam Lisa. I've got myself some pretty heavy firepower now, come to think of it. The Magnum, of course, I'm going to want to save for a bit, though. Gonna need that for the heftier of enemies.
Yeah, no, the radio thing was no joke. Lisa is basically indestructible, so there's no sense in even trying to fight her. Who's for pool? Not me. Stop having fun, guys. You can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. Apparently I still need the crank. I would not have guessed. I'm getting paranoid, so the next time I come across a uh, typewriter, I'm probably going to save it. I'd be half tempted to go back to the last one, but I'm afraid Lisa's still there. It basically appears to be her home. Yeah, let's go down this spooky elevator. It'll be fine. It's all good, Jill. It's all good. Ah, uh, birds. Okay, that elevator goes back up to the main thing, which is good. Leave me the fuck alone! A raging waterfall. Looks like there's something beyond it, which, of course... I need to activate the elevator go back up. That's what it is. Screw you, Crow Man! The power to the elevator isn't turned on. Gotta be a power source somewhere. The battery has been taken out. Well, shit. Well, perhaps it's over here. But of course there's crows here. There's a statue there. This is their place. Is that a delicious red herb? It is, but I don't really want it right now, I don't think. Yeah, that can that can hang out there for now. Snakes! More snakes! Considering the massive scary one I dealt with before, I don't really think I'm too concerned about them, but... Uh, I was kind of hoping I'd stay there, but oh well. Residence! Cozy cabin! That's a lot of blue herbs. A pestilence spray for flowers, it appears to be empty. I'm taking it. Uh, I'm taking the plethora of blue herbs to be a sign that I'm gonna get my ass poisoned in a moment. It's locked! Door plate reads, oh, oh, one. Okay, I can push that crate. But where will I push it? Well, let's try to do this in an orderly fashion, shall we? Ooh, save room. Fuck yes! Oh, also there's kerosene, that's good too. Alright, well let's put the magnum away, because I'm not going to need that right away. Um, I'll probably put the crank away, because I might not need that for a bit. Let's fill up the fuel canteen while I'm here. I'll put it back. Whip this thing out if I need it. Well, let's save it just in case, because I feel like I might get mauled and I don't want to uh, lose my progress. Because I think I'm getting pretty close to the part of the game where a lot of the real spooky shit starts going down. Spooky slash dangerous, I mean. 
the pile of blue herbs does not instill me with a lot of confidence. Alright. Can I just take that big shovel and whack folk with it? That'd be nice. I'ma smush some zombies, but good. Ah, Jesus! <laughs> Scare the ever ever living hell out of me. Probably down to caution status too. Well, I'm already over here, so it's just what to go through that door. Now I know what that box is for. I don't like scary plants. There doesn't seem to be anything useful. This looks like it would have been a nice place, once upon a time. Except for all the creepy pictures. Dust. Newspapers lie scattered about. They all seem to contain articles about stars. How interesting. It's locked. The door plate reads, Gallery. There's a map of the residence. Take it. Maybe. I think I'm going to pass for just this moment because there's a hole behind that and I'm afraid. No, that wasn't part of our deal. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. What about my family? What a twist. Let's pick up the map, fuck it. You got a map of the residence. There's a hole in the wall here. You see a giant beehive. Oh shit! <laughs> There's a hole in the wall here, you see a giant beehive. Oh shit. <laughs> Jill just dispassionately stares at us. Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? Sure. Are you alright? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm alright. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry, I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Um, bees. Barry, there's bees! Bees, there's Barry! So I like how blasé he was about that. I was like, ah, I think I'll just go get some fresh air for a change. Maybe get my face ripped off by a mutant dog. You know how it is. And I find it real funny that he, um... I, I find it real funny. That uh, he says it's like, oh, you know, maybe his age is starting to catch up to him or starting to affect him because he's talking to himself and stuff. In, I mean, maybe he's older in this version, but in the original, you know, the, the opening I showed you back when I first started streaming this from the original version of this game where they gave the character bios and shit. They said he was 30. 
I'm older than Barry is. What does that say about me? Although I do talk to myself a lot. And... am part of the plans and yet very hesitant to destroy stars. Don't tell anybody I said that, though it's supposed to be a secret. Plan 42 report. It's growing at an amazing rate. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that it, that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a sub 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 <laughs> And there's just this stroke through that, and they start over again. Substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has drastically morphed its host's anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Now where on earth will you find anything like it? We've also found that Plant 42 has two main source of acquiring its necessary... Two, two main source? That doesn't really seem grammatically correct, but okay. ...of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow, it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There is a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the Plant 42's rapid. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb, which explains the thing that tried to destroy me when I walked into this room. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring nutrients. When the Plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. And we're all just another sucker on the vine. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey, or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. <clears throat> Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this Plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observe one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. May 21st, 1998. Henry Sarton. Well, that's quite the interesting read. <clears throat> Old newspapers and magazines lie on top of the bed. Some, one appears to have vomited blood on some of the newspapers. Jesus, Barry, what's wrong with you? There's nothing special. Well, that didn't do anything. Push! Surprise! I guess we go downstairs now. There's a ladder here. Climb down? I mean, sure, why not? This entire night has been full of bad decisions. Let's make one more, shall we? Ooh, spooky. Misty. Aqua ring. This is an removable crate. Yep. It's locked from the other side. That's a lot of movable crates. What the hell am I supposed to do with these things? Correction, I see exactly what I'm supposed to do with these things. It'd be great if they were too damn heavy to float and Jill just pushed one hand on the sank. She just stares at it. Ah, oh, shit. Go 
There's a lot of amazing leaps in logic that the characters of these games have to make. I do like in the conversation Barry was having with quote-unquote himself, you could hear the second voice. Not clearly, but almost enough to pick out what they were saying. Like at one point they were assuring Barry of his uh, family's safety, for example. Yeah, let's pick this one up. Might need it. I get the distinct feeling this might be a bad idea. Uh, let's go in briefly and see what I have to face on. Sharks, I think. I'm pretty sure it's sharks. No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. Motherfucker, I have seen Jaws. Almost all of the Jaws movies. Even the shitty ones. Especially the shitty ones. More importantly, I've seen Deep Blue Sea. My hat is not like a shark's fin, so I'm not going to bother going down there just yet. Of course. Um Yeah, let's just leave him leave him be. Oh yeah, bees. Fucking be wait. There was another door in there? Ah, uh, well shit, I need to go back. But yes, no, speaking of Deep Blue Sea, if you've never seen the music video for uh I think I think the song is called Deepest Bluest or something like Bluest or something like that. But LL Cool J was in that movie, honestly, he was the best part of it. And he did a song for it, and the music video is something to behold. One of the best lines in the song is, The ocean is haunted. Which, you know, is a pretty good turn of phrase, considering, and not entirely inaccurate. <laughs> But Deep Blue Sea, man, I, I gotta watch that again because it's so wonderfully stupid. Oh, they got one of those little, like, serving tray things in the, uh, bathtub. Water is leaking from the tank. How disgusting. Will you take the residence key? Certainly. Which one does this belong to? Your, uh, numbers 001 is imprinted. Numbers is imprinted. That it is. That it is. Oh, I like how there's a bloody handprint on this door. Nice touch. I think I'm beginning to regret taking that map. 
because bees. No, I can't actually. Yeah, I'm gonna need to push that arc right over here. After I get attacked by this thing again. Hopefully this crate will stay in position. And how the hell did Barry and whoever he was talking to get past the goddamn plant? Oh, that's some nice clipping action. There's no further use for this key, discard. Certainly, my friend. Certainly. Okay. Hello, Creaky McCreakerson. I'll deal with you later. Pretty sure I know what it is, but you know. Full of dirty water. Pull out the plug. Sure. Are you gonna get up and try to kill me? There's something inside the bathtub. Will you take the control room keys? Sure. A well polished mirror. A well polished zombie. Okay, that's everything in here. Hopefully, he stays in here. No, you don't. You stay dead. You killed yourself. There's no ta take backsies on that. That's not how this works. Will you take the self defense gun? What the hell am I supposed to do with that? Suicide note Linda, I don't want to die. Linda. June 22nd, 1998. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive. Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. Evil. Evil in the residence. Whoever would have thought. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery. I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could it happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually I'll get what's coming to me though. There's no way to escape from this nuthouse. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that, I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand, and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. I don't know if it was this or if it was one earlier in the game. But... One of these was actually a note to Ada from Resident Evil 2. But yeah, I don't know if that's the case here. An old bookcase. The books are mostly concerned with literature and philosophy. This bed shows, shows signs of having been used, probably by this man right here. This poor dead sap. Excuse me while I run back and forth a little bit. Can, can I even use this thing for anything other than... A self-defense gun that fires 22 magnum rounds. One round has been fired already. 
I don't know if that gun is even at all useful to me, but all right. It's a wee little Dillinger. Let's plop that in here, shall we? if I'm gonna need it. Um, I think I might actually use that green herb right now. Is that gonna be enough to put me over the top? Yep. Uh, do, do, do you. Let's try going through the main door down there, though I don't think that's going to work. I might actually have to go down to the aqua ring and run, out, run the sharks, because I think that's the control room down there. Let's investigate, shall we? Because I know the plant has taken up residence somewhere. Oh, motherfucker, no! Oh, God! Die! Die! No. No. That's a bad spider. That scared me way more than I had any right to do. A leather jacket. Part of it has been burned by acid. Please stop spurting. That's distressing. A red oil lamp. It's not lit. Shit. I probably need to get the lighter. A rack full of wine bottles. They're all cheap vintages. Umbrella would not s not, uh, you know, spring for the good stuff. The partition is decorated with dishes. Somebody has an odd design sense. There's another spider, isn't there? An advertisement for an arm wrestling competition. Or a contest. The winner will be named Chief for a Day of the Raccoon Police Department. What? Also, it's very much like that famous scene in, um... Predator. Dylan, you son of a bitch. Let's head back and grab the lighter. I'm gonna need it, so... Yours as well. Yours as well. But if you're chief of the RPD for a day, does that mean you also have to engage in creepy taxidermy? Start creeping on younger women? Seems to come with the job, considering. Mr. Brian Irons is a nasty piece of work, after all. I wonder if there is any use for the self-defense gun on this. I don't know. We'll see. So I know there's at least one more giant arachna- arachnostrosity in here. Yes, we'll call it that. strange silhouette hovers in the reddish light. Could it have some kind of meaning? Everything else here does, so why not that? There's a lot of stuff down there, including what appears to be shotgun ammunition. 
I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that real bad. <laughs> I love how the first thing you see is butt. I see you over there. I don't like you. Some billiard balls. Two, three, four, five, and six. There doesn't seem to be anything significant about the order, but... Everything else seems, you know, a guitar case. It's empty. I'm gonna be able to play some bitchin' tunes. A lot of, uh... Oh, wait, I can play some bitchin' tunes. This guitar is right there. An orange oil lamp. Not lit. Strange silhouette hovers in the orange light. Does it have some kind of meaning? No, that, that's part of a stupid puzzle, because everything in here is part of a stupid puzzle. Let's go shoot this friggin' spider. If it comes down to say hello, that is. Wine bottles lie scattered about. They're all empty. Such is your luck. I like how this place is kind of designed to look like the galley of a ship, because there's a central, like, mass post in the middle there. Will you take the first aid box? Certainly. An herb mix of green and blue herb was inside. Oh, cool. this. You can't carry any more items. You cannot carry bandage with blood. Well, that's a shame. I like how the spider's still chilling out up there. Well, let's go pick up, um, well, drop off some stuff in the box, I should say, and then come back and pick up the bandage of blood, or with blood, or whatever the fuck it's called. I think I'll hang on to the lighter for now, just in case I need to relight those damn things I come back and saw it. So you never know, things do like to reset in this game. Except when they don't. Yeah, I'll hang on to the lighter. I don't think I need the control room key right away, so I'll plop that one back in here. to the lighter, probably put away this herb mixture. Right. So let's see what this oddly titled book has to tell us. What can info can we glean from its ominous portents and other large, dreary words such as that? Yes, yes quite. Plates, though. That's a hell of a decorative technique. I'm really happy that spider has decided to leave me alone. Maybe we're friends. I'll call him Bitey. Look with a red cover. It's a book with a red cover. 
Nothing is printed on any of the pages. Is there a special way to use it? Um... Can I use it with the lights somehow? I find this terribly confusing. Let's pick up that last, um, pick up that herb, make sure that we have all the items on this room. Okay, that's all the items, but... <laughs> I like how the spider's still hanging out up there. You don't bother me, my friend, I will not bother you. Um, okay, whatever. No doubt there's something important to do with the lamps and the book and the billiard balls, but... It'd be hilarious if there was actually nothing important to do with the billiard balls, is that Jill's mind is so trained right now to solve stupid puzzles, she's like, this must mean something. And the plates! What does it all mean? So unfortunately, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to need to go down to the aqua ring and try to outrun the sharks, because I think the control room key might... I might have to use that down there. So I'll put all this shit away. I'll hang on to everything else, though. Let's reload the shotgun, just in case. There's one zombie, I think, in my way. Ha, ah, screw you, Vine. I've no time for your bullshit! Nobody likes a plant that's too grabby. This place looks like it might have been a nice spot to hang out before all the shit hit the fan. I think I've already said that, but you know. Hey, is to reiterate. Oh, I should probably whip out the handgun. I don't want to waste the uh, shotgun on this doofus. Ah, shit. Just leave him alone. For now. I wish I brought a healing item down with me because now I have... You know what, let's not risk it. Let's go back up, clean that guy out. If I don't take his head off, I'll burn him. We're gonna have to do a bit of running back and forth here. Oh, 
Jesus, why is he so tough? No! Oh. Fuck! When was the last time I saved it? When I first came in here, wasn't it? Yeah, Pure can't kill you, but zombies can. Yep, right as soon as I first came in this place. Ah, damn it. Okay, I tell you what, I'm actually coming up pretty close to um the end of the time I had allotted for streaming this, because I got places I need to be later on. So I think I might actually end it off there, and uh, when I come back, I'll... um. Yeah, well, I've got a shorter game I plan on streaming now after this, but um, next time I stream Resident Evil, I'll just zoom through and catch up with the progress I just lost. Yes, sounds like a good idea. But yeah, we'll do that. And hopefully I don't get eaten to death this time. That's the second death. I'm not doing too bad, and I've come across some pretty dangerous situations, and... I've only died twice, both to run-of-the-mill stupid zombies, I suppose. I should have planned ahead a bit better, but, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll deal with the rest of the residents of evil the next time I stream Resident Evil. <laughs> Jill is so tired of my bullshit, apparently. Anyway, so I'm going to, uh, boop. Take a brief break, and I'm going to return with a free Steam game, actually. It's the first time I've done a free Steam game in a long time. It's a little thing called Rogue Reaper that looks like it might be pretty fitting for the Halloween season. So we'll uh, come back and do that now in a little bit. For now, I shall leave you with the dulcet tones of the Resident Evil save room. Shan't be long, folks. Be right back. <laughs> 